The battle we face on a daily basis is with pride and patience. Between relying on God or being distracted the way the devil wants us. I like to pray for you, dear God thank you for this day. The ability to wake up and praise your name. There is a lot of wicked going on in today's world. I would like to pray for anyone feeling lost or out of place, stressed, or sick. The Lord is with you. Even if you don't feel it. God is there. He is a gentleman, He won't come into your life without permission. He won't intervene without your okay. Free will, to do whatever we want how we want. It's a dangerous thing when you really think about it. There is something called judgment. We all have our one-on-one -on -one with God where we go over everything we did in this life. I pray we keep that in mind. I pray for healing of the sick and a miracles take place to save lives. Key is, remain in faith nothing is possible without God. You must be honest and true with the Lord. God isn't a fast food restaurant, you can't order what you want and that's it. You have to give yourself to God. This doesn't happen overnight but make the time and effort. Change day by day. Stick to it. I myself have days where it's hard but I stay in prayer and faith. I know the moment I abandon Jesus the enemy has me. I will be lost all over again. So I stay in faith and my prayers. I give thanks to the Lord for my life. My opportunities He gives me to learn, improve, and grow. It's simple with God life is challenging but I know it's to help me be better. If I survive the lesson with God by my side. Meaning, a spiritual survival of life or death. I could say thank you God, or I hate you God at the end of that trial. Those moments are crucial that has to be understood. The key is Jesus, Amen. When it comes to relationships. I suggest have one with Jesus. He's our guide, and our light at the end of the tunnel. When we feel afraid it's Him we run to. When you feel lonely know this, the Lord our Father is with you at all times. Watching over us waiting patiently with love. Ephesians 2 verses 8-9 For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Praise and glory goes to God. Amen. If you are feeling stressed leave it to God to handle. The situation is out of your hands except that fact first. Then realize that patience is necessary. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 88 The end of a matter is better than its beginning, and patience is better than pride. This prayer is meant to help us all grow with love for Jesus and spiritual growth. Thank you allowing me to pray for my fellow brothers and sisters in faith. Also for those who are not but come across this video either way. In Jesus' name Amen, Amen, and Amen.